Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is from my own personal car. Um, it's time, unfortunately, I sold it. I really don't want to, but it has to go. Um, 64,000 miles, premier model, uh, facelift as you can see, fully serviced by Lexus throughout, apart from the very last service, which was done on time, not on miles. It was only done by Lexus a couple of thousand miles ago, um, so, but we've just uh, reserviced the vehicle as well as it'll have a new MOT. Um, it is fantastic. Um, this one comes with the optional blue metallic electric sunroof option, which is very sought after indeed, and is a particularly lovely car. Front lights, lenses, clear, intact, no cracks, no condensation, that lovely new grille on the car. Bonnet, really, really clean. I'm in the shade, by the way, because it's actually better for videos to um, show any imperfections rather than direct sunlight, so I'm not trying to avoid anything, quite the opposite. But the panel work is really, really good. The odd, very, very light mark, which you're naturally going to get on a sort of six-year-old car, uh, but very few and far between. Coming around the back again, bumper corners really clean and tidy. And off side of the vehicle, driver's side. Lovely and smooth in the panel work, no indentations there at all. So I don't normally do my videos here, so excuse the uh, odd car going by now and again. And just a tiny bit of curbing on the offside front wheel there, but it is very, very minor indeed. But a beautiful, beautiful looking car. It's coming to the back of the car now. It's a full black leather interior. Yeah, it's in super condition as well. It's coming in the passenger side now. It's electric seats, as you'd expect on the top of the range model. Full leather again, and the leather works absolutely beautiful condition. It's finally come to the driver's door. Again, all lovely and clean and tidy. Again, driver's seat in very good condition. Just the tiniest bit of wear which you get as your thigh slides in out, but I'm being absolutely petty really. So inside the car now, engine's started or pressed, power button's been pressed at this, through the stage. See there's sat nav working exactly as it should. It's gorgeous, gorgeous interior. Put it into reverse, get that lovely clear gridded parking camera all working exactly as it should. And then this absolutely sensational interior. It is just so beautifully done and beautifully built as well. Um, come across to the main dash binnacle there, you can see I'm currently in normal mode, as I mentioned in the following road test video. If I twist it to the right, you then get the uh, sport mode uh, with the rev counter. But it really is a wonderful car. It's in just lovely condition as well. Finally, just to show you, owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key are both here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for my Lexus CT200 premier model with 64,394 miles registered DF65 THX. The reason we do all of our videos, even on my personal cars, is essentially so that if anyone's looking online uh, where, we where we advertise the car, they actually get to see that car in operation. Um, ordinarily, of course, it'd be just a normal item of stock which obviously I'll just be driving on that one occasion or um, a couple of times before maybe, but obviously, clearly I know this car intimately as it is my personal vehicle. Um, so I'm going to be massively biased, of course, but I will also be honest. Um, starting with the sort of engine hybrid system of the car, um, basically you just press the button, power button, and it whirs into life and ordinarily silently. Um, if it's particularly low on charge, of course, the engine will kick in re relatively quickly, but um, it's very hard to describe um, what it's like to drive these cars, because if you get out of a conventional vehicle and drive one of them, um, it really does make conventional cars feel incredibly clunky um, and uncouth, really, especially uh, at kind of lower speeds and do manoeuvres, reversing, just trundling around in and out of town in particular. I mean, these are fantastic 
in stop-start traffic because it's just so, so smooth. Um, there's no warning lights, by the way, on the dashboard relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Um, and th there never has been in my ownership. Um, you have basically three modes of driving these cars. It defaults to normal mode as you when you start the car. So we've got this blue screen, power meter on the left-hand side. I twist it to the left, it goes into eco mode and it feels noticeably slower. You've got to put your foot down harder. Obviously it's the most economical. It's trying to draw everything as much from the batteries as possible. Um, it's not a mode I'm a great fan of, and I'm sure that plenty of people are. Um, but if I press the button there, it goes back to normal. Um, I just find that's a more satisfying mode. You've got much snappier throttle response. It picks up much more readily. And then if you really want to, twist it to the right, suddenly, dashboard changes kind of this red glow um, rev counter on the left hand side rather the econometer put your foot down and it's much quicker to pick up it really is just much more urgent in the way it responds uh, it's it is absolutely fantastic it really is um, what I have to be honest with you because I've been itching to say it, what really frustrates me is some road test you see of these cars because um, I am digressing now where they ignore what is, for 90% of the driving you're going to do, the smoothest, most seamless way of driving any car. It is simply sensational. You've got the hybrid system working, interacting brilliantly. There's no, you can hardly feel it change. Um, you can never run out of battery. You can only run out of fuel, so you just drive it as a normal car and run it as a normal car, and they are fantastically reliable. Um, but also, most people drive as I am today, perfectly smoothly, throttle applications, sensible. What you'll get with some road test magazines of individuals is when they get in the car, they'll shove their foot to the floor and get the engine to rev up because with a CVT gearbox, constantly variable transmission, it's designed so the revs go up, but the kind of the car catches up with it, it's the way the internals of the gearbox work. It makes it so smooth in, in operation. And then they'll complain that it drones when you put your foot down hard, and which it does. It, it, there's, there's no getting away from it, but it only drones because there's no gear change. Um, if there was a gear change, it'd still be just as noisy, but you just have a, that change of gear with it up and down and off the road, so you get used to the change in engine note. But normally, you drive with a gentle throttle uh, application very smoothly, but now and again, put my foot down, and it revs quietly, but it just revs and then it catches up. But those that own these cars know exactly what you do. You put your foot down to accelerate, but you start to back off the throttle as you would do when you're changing gear, if you like. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, I think it's just a, a, a marvel of engineering. It really, really is. Um, and so the whole interaction, you know, th there is no better word than seamless because that, that, so that, how it all comes together. It, it, it's just it said engineering genius it really really is um, getting back to the mechanicals of the car um, steering of the vehicle again really lovely on these cars very nicely weighted um, feels lovely and solid and secure on the road it's got a great front end on the car for direction changes um, it's quite a um, effervescent car to drive it's you know, very direct I, that's why I've, I really loved them and I wasn't expecting to um, but I've had two or three in a row now and I simply am sold on them um, it tracks absolutely dead straight there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up the legal limit including motorways because obviously I'll be driving the right car regularly suspension of the car um, going to have bumps like those you can hear the bumps but you can't there's no kind of secondary noises no sort of clonking or rattling coming from underneath the vehicle um, for suspension wear or otherwise uh, worth pointing out that the car will be going for an independent MOT so uh, these are things will be checked anyway um, but it's just it just feels absolutely like new to drive it feels so so solid um, and what I love is kind of slightly un Lexus like it's very comfortable of course but it's also quite firm which is really nice it's it, said it eats up corners wonderfully well um, minimal body roll um, you know and it flows it's not one of those cars where you get into corners and it it's kind of having to deal with it it just seems to cope with everything you throw at it I, I, I think it's fantastic um, 
brakes on the car are absolutely superb just nice solid brake pedal on the vehicle there's no pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal um, they obviously regenerate quite a lot of their electric when you hit the brake pedal as well so they have a slightly different brake feel something you get used to very very quickly indeed of course um, and then coming inside the car I mean uh, it, it's just we sell lots of Honda Civics which I love because I love the, the, the way the dashboard design is and this for a more conventional dashboard in some ways um, kind of matches them in, but in terms of how interesting it is to sit in but also it makes you feel incredibly special beautifully beautifully made absolutely sensationally well made cars um, sat nav you can see they're working perfectly you've got the obviously the premium spec um, with the Mark Levinson stereo the sound reproduction is extraordinary in the car it is absolutely sensational um, the switch gear quality and the look of it is just like you know the very finest hi-fis you used to be able to buy years ago uh, where the, the buttons you press have that same quality of actuation the detailed labeling of them i mean it's really nerdy but it really does make you feel incredibly special when you sat inside the car and then they said the dashboard there which is actually fairly simple easy legible beautifully presented of course and as i said you can configure that if you're between the um, normal and sports modes as well steering wheel again perfection thick rimmed leather bound feels brilliant in hand as well um, all the functions working exactly as they should on the car um, but it is a wonderful wonderful vehicle um, what I truly love to so get back to the driving of the car um, because I don't I rarely I keep forgetting to do it in the videos what I love in particular about these is low speed so I'm coming to a stop now it's in battery only now because it's just gone in and out so it's completely silent pull away absolute silence it's uncanny it's so smooth and when you select reverse you know it's there's no jarring there's no clunk as it engages gear so there's no one behind me now so i can just i'll come to a stop so if imagine i was doing a maneuver i had to go back you've got this lovely little gear lever there nudge it into reverse go back beautifully silently back into first or drive rather and forward that's just brilliant it, and that lever there has got a lovely quality of actuation the little springing and the damping of it and it's all those things that they put in a huge amount of effort and it really does um, reap rewards because it is a it just feels sensational um, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry again across cross wires um it's just the parking sensors going off because i'm close to the um bank there um as i said at the start of the video the point is actually just to show the car in operation but to highlight any issues there might be uh, nothing at all i mean it drives absolutely perfectly um but obviously i've managed to sort of digress on a couple of occasions and uh, but it was inevitable given the fact it was my car um, if you've got any questions about the vehicle as always don't hesitate please do give us a call